So with tone testing, there's two types of tone disturbance that we might be interested in. One's spasticity, which is the usual one, and the other is uh, for Parkinson's disease or other extrapyramidal disorders. So starting with spasticity, this is what you need to do. Just take the hand, actually, can you wiggle down so you can get comfortable? Yeah. And if there is a tone disturbance, you'll find it when you vigorously extend the biceps and when you vigorously supinate the hand. And you get a catch there and a catch there, so that's all you need to do. And then with the leg, same thing, looking for spasticity, just roll the leg from side to side and the foot should wobble and there should be no tone during the increase during the movement. Put your hand under the knee, bend the leg vigorously and snap the ankle up looking for clonus. So here you're looking for the spastic catch in quads and here you're looking for clonus in the gastrocnemius. Now if you're looking for extrapyramidal tone disturbance, the thing to do is to move the hand much more slowly. Just hold the fingers and, and the wrist and you move the hand both at, both at the finger joints and at the wrist joint just slowly and look at feeling for plastic increase in tone and also for cogwheel uh, element to it. And in the leg it's much harder to do that but you, you can hold the leg up and you can move the, the foot up and down slowly like this and actually pronating and supinating, uh, inverting and rebooting can help.